Hello Star Wars YouTube fans, welcome to part 5 of my Mandalorian custom Razor Crest uh, build for 3.75 action figures. Apologies for not posting the video uh, for the last few weeks. The um, world's been a bit of a crazy place recently. Um, I have been doing some work on my custom Razor Crest vehicle um, but not posting uh, video updates as often as I would like. I normally aim to try and get a video out once a week so uh, apologies for that. If you are new here today please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date for future content and if you are an existing subscriber many thanks for subscribing. So I just wanted to give you an update today on where we are with the build so far and I've enclosed a few or a couple of pictures today just showing you uh, the progress I've made to date. So I've been concentrating uh, recently on the internal structure of the Mandalorian Razor Crest ship. Uh, so that's sort of some of the uh, metal beam work and the interior sort of panels and some of the detailing inside, uh, the carbon freeze chamber, etc. Uh, and also some of the functionality. So just have a quick look at the first uh, image. So we've got some of the... Uh, detail in there of towards the rear end of the ship with these sort of control panels I'm not quite sure uh, what they actually do but but they're sort of as you see in the screenshot similar to what you see there um, I've also uh, painted the interior of the ship this sort of uh, gray blue color um, it was difficult uh, to ascertain some of the colors uh, of this interior ship at times in different sort of pictures it appears to, deep, to be either quite a vibrant blue or, or not blue in some cases so it's, I've gone for this sort of uh, grey blue colour which I think is sort of somewhere in between um, so I'm not sure if it's 100% accurate or not but uh, I'm going to go with this uh, as you see on the screen at the moment uh, here we have a view towards the uh, front or the uh, front end of the ship um, where the sort of vac tube is and the sort of bed area where uh, they discover Yoda uh, on the bed there um, so that's sort of a view there again you can see the color on the screen is more of a blue color than what I had um, I did uh, originally paint it a more vibrant blue similar to what it looked in the picture but it just didn't look quite right to me so I sort of scaled it back with this grey blue colour um, I don't know maybe just something to do with this sort of colour grade they used in the Mandalorian and different things but say it was hard at times just to try and actually get that colour right uh, the, say the first blue I used it, it just didn't look right at all uh, so I've gone with what you see here and then uh, the other thing I wanted to do with this build as well is bring some sort of functionality in it Similar to the uh, Millennium Falcon we got uh, way back is the sort of uh, secret cargo hold or in this case this sort of um, uh, air dock uh, that you see towards the to the the floor of the ship. So I wanted to incorporate that in the design. So that's the sort of floor area there. Um, I've got to do the sort of underneath as well to sort of make that work. But so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, so uh, yeah, just hope, I hope you like that. So I think it just adds a bit more functionality to the to the ship. So it's just a very quick update for you today on where we are on the build. Um, I do hope to get this complete before the premiere of of season two of the Mandalorian. So uh, hopefully soon, uh, get a few more videos out and uh, show you where we are with the build. I think uh, now I've got this bit done the rest of it shouldn't be too much of a problem hopefully he says <laughs> so we'll see what happens with that but yeah thanks for viewing today and uh, as always love to hear your thoughts and comments below and i shall see you on the next one thanks for watching today